Eh, strange. You can almost see his face in it. Must be the sound carrier the magician talked about. And now, where do I find the fifth portal? It's night once again. I had better hurry. I need to open the portal to the clearing of the first tree. starting to vibrate in my hand, and it sounds just like the wind blowing through that hollow stump. This is crazy. Only a hollow tree stump, with nothing in it. I hear a whistling sound. The wind is blowing through the hollow trunk, moaning and whistling. It almost sounds like a tune. The organ music of the wind, the breath of the forest. Hmm, how did I come up with that? Don't tell me I'm a poet too. Poet magician Jerry Hazelnut. What kind of stone is that? It is firmly stuck. No idea what it is. Hmm, nothing's whispering here. Hmm, nothing's whispering here. It looks like it was hit by lightning about a thousand years ago. Hmm, somebody seems to have carved four openings into its gnarly trunk. The crystal statue is starting to vibrate, just like the sound carrier. Oh, the whistling of the wind at the portal tree made the little statue shatter. I'd better take that. The crystal statue is starting to vibrate, just like the sound carrier. Oh! The whistling of the wind at the portal tree made the little statue shatter. I'd better take that. The crystal statue is starting to vibrate, just like the sound carrier. 
Oh, the whistling of the wind at the portal tree made the little statue shatter. I'd better take that. crystal statue is starting to vibrate, just like the sound carrier. Oh, the whistling of the wind at the portal tree made the little statue shatter. I'd better take that. Excellent. It fits. Perfect. There, that's it. A door. That must be the passage the old magician was talking about. The portal to the clearing of the first tree of Mousewood. Hey, what is this? A room made of green glass. And a sparkling silver key in a fountain. I bet that's some sort of security device fashioned by the old tree walkers to protect this mysterious portal. The key is hovering in the middle of the jet, but the way it smells, I'd better not stick my hand in there. Nothing. Too bad. Ha! I could never stand these sliding puzzles anyway. I've got the key! Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. Oh man, that was a close shave. <laughs> the portal to the clearing of the first tree. The time has come. Only the Marquis were here, or the old magician. 
he was going to try and meet me there in his dreams. I hope it works, but for now I appear to be on my own. Watch out, Jerry! The fox! But, where is it now? Right in front of you, Frog. Who? Mm -hmm. Plato, this is Kitsuna. You've met her before. She's a very special fox. Can say that again. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know the first thing about magic and such like, except for Anya's lingonberry pancakes. Mm. <laughs> You're so cute. Kitsuna, Plato, what are you doing here? I won't let you go through there by yourself, silly boy. This tree smells funny. Your path will take you to a place that not even I know. You are definitely going to need my help. My parents used to tell me about the first tree walkers. They said a tree walker is someone who will help others when they're in need. You are a tree walker, Jerry. I'm nothing but a simple male. But perhaps I can be a tree walker too. I'm so glad I won't have to do this by myself. Right, Jerry. Let's get it over with. Whoever's disturbing the worlds will have to answer for it. I want to return home. I want my friends to wake up again. I want everything to be okay again. Everything. Hmm. Plato? Kitsuna? Where did they go? They were walking right next to me. Where am I now? It's dark, but light here at the same time. The air feels electric somehow. All the little hairs on my arms are standing on end. Jerry. Hello? Jerry. So far, I haven't been able to advance to the clearing. I need to... to be careful and not lose sight of my goal. My waking mind is starting to dream, to dissolve. Zaroff denies me access, but you appear to be closer to him already. But I'm stuck here. What can I do? You are between the worlds, just like me. But while Zaroff is misdirecting my spirit, he is leading your body astray. Zaroff's curse is strong. I know only one who wields enough power to help you here, between the worlds. A dangerous magician. Take this. This looks familiar. You need to summon him, like you did once before. Even if we may all come to regret it. But when you ask him for help, do not show any weakness. Hello? Our magician? He's gone. Ah, alone again. What's that noise? Ah, that would be ah. me. Not another crow. Raven. Not another... Wait, you can talk. Some even say I talk too much. Um, hello? Ah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Of course. You're right in front of me, aren't you? Who are you? If you want a name, I'm afraid I must disappoint you. I'm only a raven, actually. I live in the clearing of the first tree. The clearing of the first tree? That's where I need to go. Do you know the right way? I can't find it myself. Everything's changed here, especially with all those strangers hanging around now. You live in the clearing of the first tree? Yes. But I thought the first tree wasn't the real tree. 
How can anyone live there? That's easy. Everyone leaves behind a memory when departing from the clearing of the first tree. A raven like me visited the clearing in a dream. When he left, I stayed behind as a memory of the tree. So you're just a memory? Just? I think that's a whole lot. The first tree remembers many things. Even after its time had ended, it remained rooted in the woods. It knows the secrets of the forest. What kind of place is this? You're at the threshold between dream and reality. Dream and reality? Dreamers come to visit my clearing in their dreams. Everyone knows how to get to this place. A sleeper knows the way. But I'm not asleep, and I can't find the way. That makes two of us. A voice just now said that you could ask someone for help. Yes, but how? He said that you've done it before. Hmm. Somebody came here once to meditate about his past. He thought up this wheel. What wheel? This wheel. If you turn the wheel, the crossroads will show you paths that are hidden deep in your soul. Places you have seen. Places you are going to see. And places that have shaped your life. Even if you never realized it, perhaps it can help you. But they are not true paths, just windows or images. I don't know much about these things. I'm only a raven. Who did you see here? First, there were four strange-looking lizards who followed a tall man into the clearing. From the opposite direction, next came a rabbit with funny eyes. The Marquis! I flew after him, but he entered your world. I could not follow him there. Why not? Because I come from here. From the memories of the first tree, there is no place for me outside of dreams. If I were to enter your world, something or someone would be lost in my place. Ah! But there are a few who can move about in your realities without disturbing the balance. They animate rocks and plants, and thus walk between dream and reality. I think I know someone like that. I'll keep trying my luck. See you later. Wow, good luck. changed. How very strange. They're not even paths anymore. Almost looks like windows to different places. Ooh, a cosy campfire. I think there's even someone sitting there. Whoever they may be, I'm going to borrow a log of wood. Ouch! Hot! Now what? There's nothing to light it with. Ow! I almost burnt my fingers. Before I start a fire, I should know exactly what I need it for. That's one of the cannons belonging to the guards of Mousewood. It looks like I might be able to stick in my hand from here. How strange, indeed. I now have a handful of black powder. I saw this bridge before. On television. Looks like nobody lives in those houses anymore. Almost like my home, the last time I saw it. Eve! Oh! I think it's stuck in the ice. Is that a wire cutter? Looks like someone tried to stuff it in the case. I'm not planning on dragging that thing along. Is this 
This stone looks like the one by the brook near the Temple of the Moths. A tree walker symbol has been carved onto it. <laughs> the same symbol I drew on the face of the rock toad. Hands off. Hey, this is the dwarf's locker. And it is still locked. Mousewood Town Hall. Hmm, I think I could reach the next from here. Ha! I swiped a few acorns. Funny, they're so small. Looks like I'm no longer the size of a mouse. I hope this won't plunge the people of Mousewood into an acornomic crisis. Oh well, it's all for a good cause. Man, I hope this is just an illusion. Wouldn't want to be arrested as a burglar after all. Okay, I prized the door open. Oh no, my stick broke. There's a weird symbol in the poem underneath it. How he made a carrot flame. After drawing on rock, a symbol all in white. Grinding white to powder makes it right. Then add black in turn, the kind you should be loath to burn. Black and white as they combine, the inside of your vessel line. Then three more things, tree skin, tree fruit, and lastly but not least, a root. At the crossroads, draw a circle with the powder mix obtained. Put the vessel in the center of the powder ring, thus gained. Set the circle bang on fire. The carrot flame leaps higher and higher, and I will swallow it in haste to enjoy the lovely taste. <laughs>